Two men are suing a Powell Youth Ranch, claiming they were subjected to forced labor and abusive conditions. Wyoming senators oppose any future federal mask mandates. And the millionaires and billionaires who live in Jackson seem to have it all, except home mail delivery, apparently. We'll take a look at these stories and more today from Wyoming's largest news organization. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily. Claiming they were subjected to severe forced labor and abusive conditions, two men who as teens were forced to work on a youth therapy ranch in Powell are suing the ranch and other businesses in federal court. Andrew Lewis of Texas and Andrew Unruh of California filed a 21-page civil lawsuit in the U.S. District Court for Wyoming against the Triangle Cross Ranch, alleging forced labor and human trafficking. That's according to Cowboy State Daily's Claire McFarland. There's two men who would have been about 14 in 2000 for when they reportedly stayed at Triangle Cross Ranch. And they're saying that they were kept in these shacks with no heating and they, they weren't allowed to use the bathrooms. So they had to urinate in jugs and they're making a lot of allegations and the owner of the ranch declined to comment. Lewis and Unruh say they are entitled to be paid for their labor at a rate of $16.31 per hour and are also asking for compensatory damages for emotional distress for living in allegedly squalid, restricted, and threatening conditions. One of the front and center exhibits in Monday's Rocky Mountain Power rate increase hearing was a resolution from the Joint Corporations Committee rebuking the controversial 30% rate increase proposal. It also calls upon the Wyoming Public Service Commission to hold the utility's feet to the fire as it reviews the case. State Senator Cale Case told Cowboy State Daily that he's concerned about how Wyoming appears to be shouldering a disproportionate share of renewable infrastructure like wind towers to provide renewable power to other states. Day five of the eight-day marathon of testimony begins Tuesday morning. U.S. Senators John Barrasso and Cynthia Lummis aren't interested in more public health mandates requiring people to wear face masks. The Wyoming Republicans have voted in favor of an amendment that's been successfully added to a Senate spending bill prohibiting the U.S. Department of Transportation from using any federal money to enforce mask mandates. Cowboy State Daily's Leo Wolfson explains. It would prohibit the U.S. Department of Transportation from using federal money to enforce mask mandates through various forms of transportation. So that includes airplanes, buses, commuter rail, and rapid transit buses. Although the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say mask mandates are effective in curtailing the spread of the COVID-19 virus, many people question whether the health benefits are worth the enforced regulations. I'll be back with more news right after this. No one should go hungry on Thanksgiving, and yet hundreds of men, women, and children from our community are homeless and hurting this holiday season. Yet you can provide hope. Just $2.58 provides a hot meal and life-changing services at the Wyoming Rescue Mission, like safe, welcoming shelter, support, and long-term recovery to help them get back on their feet. Learn more and give online at wyomission.org. That's wiomission.org. Wyoming's McCullough Peaks Mustang herd might not be as large as those in the Red Desert or as well known as the nearby Pryor Mountain Mustangs. Even so, the herd of about 180 horses located east of Cody is hugely popular, according to Outdoors reporter Mark Hines. That means plans by the Bureau of Land Management to trim the herd by trapping and removing 41 horses starting next month is controversial. They want to trap them and and then take 41 horses out of that herd and put them up for adoption. And of course, uh, wild horse advocates aren't really keen on that idea. Their side of the argument is that this herd has been under fertility control, I think, since 2011. And then also they say it's a rapidly aging herd. So a lot of old horses that are probably just going to die of natural causes anyway, particularly with winter coming on. The BLM stance is that the McCullough Peaks herd needs to be kept at 70 to 140 horses, which fertility control and natural deaths won't accomplish. And the millionaires and billionaires who make Jackson, Wyoming the hub of America's wealthiest county may seem to have it all, but as Features reporter and Jackson Hole resident Jake Nichols reports, they can't get home mail delivery from their local post office. And with 24,000 residents in Teton County, the lines at that post office can get pretty long. So there is no mail service in Jackson, Wyoming. Living here for as long as I have, I don't really think much about it anymore. It seems normal not to get mail delivered. 
That's crazy, the editor at Cowboy State Daily told me one day. Why don't you? What kind of problems does it cause? This is a story, he said. And as I sat down to write it, I thought, it certainly is. You can read Jake's entertaining but true story at CowboyStateDaily.com, where you'll find some of the best local reporting in the Cowboy State. Sign up for our free newsletter, which will be delivered to your inbox daily. Just sign up at www.CowboyStateDaily.com. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily.